hi everyone welcome to the channel this is fahad mirza and in this video i am going to share with you a new tool which is called as maxon this maxon is a free open source no code web data extraction platform you can build custom robots to automate data scrapping from your websites quite easily so we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works before i move forward let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page whether it is public or private it is resilient it is reusable and it structures output according to the shape of your query and i will drop the link to their website in video's description so instead of talking about this maxon i'm going to install it locally and then i will show you how it works because i think that is the best way of explaining it so let's get right into it i'm going to go onto my terminal where you can see that i am running this ubuntu 22.04 let me create a virtual environment with conda it is not mandatory but always a good idea to keep everything separate from your local installations and that is done one prerequisite which you must have is docker installed because i'm going to use docker and there is another way of installing it manually but i believe the best way of installing this locally is through docker and that is what i'm going to show you make sure you have recent or latest version of docker installed as you can see i already have this docker installed if you don't know how to install docker i will um, highly encourage you to search my channel i have done a very easy to understand video to install docker next up i have just set the permission of docker's socket file in the next step we are going to git clone the repo of maxon and i will drop the link to it in video's description and then i am going to use this docker compose file to download and then run it okay so right okay so because i didn't go into that directory let me go into that directory so that we could see the docker compose okay so now if i do the ls dash ltr here so you see that we have a lot of files we have this docker compose file you might get a warning about it but don't worry about it and then the file we are looking for is this env example so first move this env file to something like small env and then open it any editor of your choice here you need to change some of the uh, parameters if you like that will set your llm and all that stuff most of it will remain as is so for instance you see that it is backend it is using this postgres it is using the memory data store for redis and then if you want you can set the google authentication if you are using google cloud but i'm not using google cloud here okay so i will just keep it as is so i'm just going to save it and then exit from here and now we can run our docker compose command again in order to start downloading it and running it And now it is first going to download all the layers and then it is going to build it and run it so let's wait for it and it is going to take a bit of a time by the way so you can see that it is pulling that radius memory store postgres and a lot of other stuff and after downloading that now it is building all of it And you can see that it is still running it's been over five minutes it has installed a lot of stuff here from the back end and it 13 out of 16 are done and it is still going strong so i will just wait for it to finish and make sure that you have plenty of space on your system by the way and just because of this amount of stuff which it installs i was recommending that docker is the best way of installing it because if you try to install it manually without docker there are a lot of bugs in it lot of so backend is done and now it is installing the front end and even front end is huge you see there are 32 in total components and 27 are done and it, it has taken again more than five minutes and still running 
so make sure that you give it plenty of time and eventually everything started and it's now running let me access it on my local host at port 5173 and there you go so maxon is running on my local system let me register for an account locally and i just clicked on this register so let me just put in my email address and a random password here so i registered and it has taken me to this web page now the first thing you need to do is to of course you need to set the ipa key here and or you could also check around this interface if you like also if you are running behind a proxy server so you can simply just set your proxy so that you should be able to access your internet so first up let's go to this api key and click on generate api key and this is my api key i can simply copy it it will be useful if you want to access it through api so it's always a good idea to save it okay so and i don't see any option of turning it into a dark theme so if you're a dark theme person like me that is a bit of a bummer but that is fine and now we can create our robot to scrape the data so click on create robot and then we can give it a website to scrape the data i'm just going to give it uh, maybe my own website address and then start training a robot here so it is spinning up the browser i think it is using chromium at the moment yep this is my website and then it is asking me on the right hand side it is also guiding you which is quite good that what data do you want to extract so and it is designed to um, perform one action at a time you can either capture list text or you can simply you know capture on some of the items grab them and it is going to capture that so for example if i say capture text from here and then it is telling me what needs to be done that hover over the text you want to extract and click to select them so for example i say okay this select it and then you see it has you can give it a label so whatever you like and then you can say a title and then you can just click on finish here and this is my robot you can just say title extractor or something like that and you can save it there you go and then you can even schedule it you can run it something like this so it is running you can turn uh, turn it on the developer mode setting where you can set the repeat and all that stuff so i'm just going to disable it and then click on run robot so it is running at the moment my robot and if you remember there is also this run which you can so it has success, succeeded already you can click on here to see what happened and it is telling me it, there are all the logs and if you click on output data then it is going to give you output any output data if you have set it if i go to log this is you see it has selected as fahadmirza.com current state and everything and then you can of course select your items your element on the web page and then go from there you can also set settings again if you like manual run or you can even schedule it so and you can create as many robots as possible from here and you see that this is a schedule you can run it every hour you can run every week or just these are the robots which you can set i believe this sets up some sort of cron in behind the scenes so i'm just cancelling it you can also click on authenticate and then if there is any authentication with a google or anything like that you can do that too and then you can set more settings if you like so that's it i just wanted to give you a quick overview and if you are into the web scraping or data scraping you can uh, go to their api docs there are a lot of good documents on their website which you can check i think they also have some cloud version but i'm not going to go with the paid one i think when why worry when we have these uh, free option and now you know how to install it so purpose is simple just give it a website scrape the data and by selecting the elements and you can go from there 
Also, I hope that you enjoyed it. I will drop the link to it in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.